Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Dame and this is Dame Over and in today's Battlefield 1 video we are taking a close look at the new contender for top automatic weapon which in my opinion is very close to knocking the Hellregal off the top spot, the Fedorov Aftermat Trench. If you guys find this video useful or entertaining then make sure you hit that like button before you go so let's jump to it. Now I know it's a little controversial to say that the Hellregal might be beaten as weapon of choice for the run and gun style players because it really is easy mode when you're playing as the assault class. I made a more detailed video on the Hell Regal a little while back so make sure you check that out when you're done here but the Fedorov has really come to the fore recently and like the Parabellum has shaken things up quite a bit on the battlefield so for now let's just have a look at how the Fedorov plays and why it's such an excellent addition to Battlefield 1 since the new DLC in the name of the Psalm was released so as the in-game description tells us it's a precursor to the modern assault rifle the whole point of which was to give the user a lot more versatility in terms of effective range so going from very close to even long ranges whilst maintaining a high damage output at the same time because assault rifles use larger rounds compared to pistol ammunition which is used by a submachine gun in terms of of Battlefield 1 though it has massively changed how the medic class is used. The Fedorov according to the stats is at its most effective within 25 meters and on paper it doesn't have a specialized range like a shotgun or a sniper rifle but the full auto capabilities make it such a beast up close and even from further away with only a little bit of skill you can still pick up those kills very easily. There are obviously a few guns in the medic class that are specifically designed for close quarters combat like the auto loading 8.25 extended and the still very popular SL sweeper but very recently I found the Fedorov seems to always top these guns just because it is so easy to use. It stands to reason that more bullets faster will mean more kills or will at least give you a higher chance of winning an encounter so with a fire rate of 450 and some intelligent positioning this weapon is very very difficult to beat. So it's about now that you guys will be thinking about the Hellregal and how it has a faster fire rate at 650, so why am I saying that the Fedorov is better? Well, in terms of the stats, the Hellregal and Fedorov have a time to kill that is incredibly similar, as you can see from this graph. Obviously the peaks are in different places, but we've got the Fedorov in orange and Hellregal in red. What's important here is the shape of each line, they are almost exactly the same just starting at different points. With the Hellregal winning at super close range and Fedorov taking the top spot as the range increases to about 38 meters. Another important stat to look at is bullets to kill. So again we have the same colors for each gun and as you can see the Fedorov is always at one bullet less than the Hellregal which explains the similarities in time to kill. The Fedorov also has higher minimum and maximum damage at 28 and 19 respectively compared to the Hellregal's 23 and 13.5. But what is most important with any of the guns in Battlefield 1 is how you use the weapon and how it feels. The Fedorov seems to have a lot of visual recoil, but it doesn't take much time to adjust to that and have your shots go where you want them, even if you hold the trigger down. For those of you who've used the MP18 quite a lot, it's a very similar skill you have to use when you're firing in full auto, where you need to aim just below centre mass and pull down mid-burst for the most accuracy. As I touched on before, even in those long range firefights, the Fedorov is tricky to fight against with anything that isn't a sniper rifle. The key to winning those battles is to trigger tap and fire in either single shots or in two or three round bursts. If you find this a little tricky to do, you've even got the option of switching to single fire mode to make your Fedorov semi-auto until you want to swap it back to its full automatic mode. Now the most important part about using the Fedorov actually has jack to do with the gun itself and is down to the healing abilities of the medic class. This is something that my friend Get Good Guy pointed out quite early on and he's made a video on the Fedorov on his channel so make sure you check that out, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. And what makes the Fedorov so good is that you can run into a fight, mow someone down and even if you get injured you can heal when you reload. I know this seems like a really obvious thing to point out. But because you can let off so many rounds so quickly and don't have to wait for ages in between engagements to get your health back, you become a bit of a wrecking ball. You don't have to fall back to a safe position and wait for your health to come back and most importantly if you find a vantage point or power position, you don't have to give it up after your first fight in case another enemy comes along and mops up the kill. This is obviously a very selfish way of looking at it, so make sure you're throwing your healing pouches or leaving your crates down for your teammates too. At the very least, they'll be able to help you play in a similar way and help you gain that all-important map control. 
Using this technique requires you to pick your fights a bit carefully and it's always a good idea to flank your targets and get the drop on them. And because you can be really effective at range with the Fedorov, you've got the option of seeing from a distance what weapons the enemies have before deciding how you want to play it. The Fedorov is one of my new favourite weapons because it doesn't limit how you play. You can choose to use it in a variety of different ways and for me this is really important. And I think it's a mark of good content as well because it appeals to a lot of the player base which is why it's been so popular recently. So those are my thoughts on the Fedorov Aftermath Trench. What do you guys make of it? Do you think it will take over the Hell Regal as weapon of choice for run and gun players? Do you think it's overpowered? Let me know in the comments below. So if you had a good time, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button too. Make sure you share this video with whoever and wherever you like. And until next time, that's game over. Peace.